All right, as you guys can see, like I said earlier, Photo Magenta, Cyan, Photo Gray, and Photo Cyan have yet to be disabled. Okay, that'll come as we continue to print. The new notice basically means that, hey, your ink is running low. You can update the latest firmware. No, no, thank you. We will not do that. Let's go ahead and look at the first choice here. So you may notice that I have A3 Plus semi-gloss paper chosen here well why would you want to do that inside the actual screen right you can choose whatever type of paper you wish and what that will create is a conflict between this printer what it says right there and what the driver sends to the actual printer say for instance you decide to print letter size or A2 or A4 you will have a conflict now you can disable that conflict. In other words, you can tell it to ignore that. Ignore a mismatch. Okay, but first let's go ahead and take a look at what the screen has to offer here. So your first choice, of course, is this. You can, of course, do this and constantly match what you set up on your computer and what you set up here. But again, no need. Now, you can change your paper thickness head height right here. You don't have to do that inside the actual driver on your computer. You can do that here as well. You can set your transport unit vacuum settings. Let's have a look at that. It's active. You always want to have that activated. Low, standard, medium, high. So if you're getting any kind of little scuff marks or anything like that, you can adjust the height manually right here okay extension for borderless printing so say you are printing borderless but for whatever the reason because remember positioning of paper is not exact you center those guides but they expand out a little tiny bit okay to allow the paper to freely be transported without rubbing against those guides but that does not mean that the following piece of paper you loaded remains at the same location so it may shift to the left or to the right a little bit and you might end up with a so-called sliver of a border well you can actually adjust that and I have it set too large because I don't want to ever if I ever decide to print borderless I do not want it to have a little tiny sliver white border pause between scans to tell you the truth I don't know what pause between scans means but I know pause between pages so I could just say for instance wait 30 seconds between each sheet of paper that is transported through the system I have a set to inactive so I don't really need to wait what else do we have available detect paper width off you set that to off that way it will not have a conflict with some other paper size you may choose on your driver okay I don't know why they even include that and reset paper settings by paper so you can do that as well if you want to no need to do that okay so let's go back get out of that maintenance print nozzle check pattern so you choose yes it will begin to print a nozzle check nozzle check looks like this okay that's what it looks like if you have anything missing then you know something is not quite right and then you run a cleaning cycle so we will go ahead and get out of that head cleaning now cleaning do you want to start cleaning if I choose to do that it's going to run a global cleaning cycle all 12 channels will be affected that's why I do not do cleaning cycles here I go to my driver I go to my driver and then I choose the zone that contains a color that may have been affected say for instance my red is a little bit missing then I will choose only that zone that has red all right so make sure you never do your cleaning cycles directly from the printer screen 
deep cleaning the same thing this will do a very very long and deep cleaning cycle that may be required if you have a very stubborn channel I had to do that recently when my matte black was not printing and of course system cleaning that's going to actually use almost half of your ink so that's only in the case where you may have installed a new ink type and you wanted to push out the existing ink that lives internally you would do that but that is not really a recommended thing that you do now head alignment and why would you want to do that you want to do that if you begin to see say for instance on this sky here very gradual transition as you can tell from a bluish from a bluish type color to a more yellowish color and so forth you may see some banding and that may be related to the head misalignment and that can occur as the printer ages and all that means is that the paper advance has to be synchronized to the width of the ink layman that the print head applies which each pass back and forth so you run the auto the auto is good because it does all of the guesswork for you it will then do your auto correction and then you repeat that same print to see if you still got that banding if you still do then maybe something more serious but you know most of the time it will be resolved manual that means that you will actually have to visually make the adjustments yourself and that can be a pain okay some of the older models only had manual head alignment roller cleaning so if you're having any roller marks you may want to perform this it's going to ask you to load some papers either in the manual tray or the rear tray depending of the source that is causing those roller marks and you go ahead and proceed to do that bottom plate cleaning okay that's the the platen basically and so you will actually be able to perform some cleaning this is really neat because normally you would have to do this by hand yourself and you know that can be a pain so it has that availability most of the Canon printers do that as well color calibration this is very very important when you first set up your printer after you have installed your inks and you have performed the ink charge and run a nozzle check to make sure that everything is firing then run a head alignment then utilizing some of the free luster or semi-gloss paper they provide you use some of that remaining paper to run a color calibration the reason being is going to set this printer's output to a factory control level these units are mass produced they cannot all be tested so they cannot guarantee that your output will match the same output of say John's printer in California compared to Joe's printer in Maryland it's not going to be the same unless we both calibrate using the same paper so you perform your calibration auto adjust enable disable adjustment values and then you can actually tell it to install that value once you have generated that correction of course you want to enable it okay why wouldn't you why would you have done the correction without enabling it so I have it set to active make sure you do that as well what else do we have here maintenance cartridge info I'm about half okay and I just installed that cartridge a little while ago prepare for transportation don't mess around with this this will actually drain the printer and if you don't have room in your maintenance cartridge it will ask you to put another one in there so that it can be emptied wow that will use up all of your existing internally stored ink not not a lot of fun was there anything else in that let me see head replacement that's a good one because the Pro 1 which also has a 12 channel print head you cannot really manually uh, replace your print head yourself you require a certain procedure to do that Pro 1000 allows you to do that yourself so you can go ahead and buy a new print head very expensive and replace it yourself it will walk you through the process it will set up the printer so that the carriage is located in the correct exchange position and you can replace your print head job management many things display the job history of course you want that 
print jo job history you may want to do that as well template print there's a lot of things you can print look at this you can actually create templates music paper look at that anyway so many things that you can do that are included already pre-programmed land settings so I have a set for Wi-Fi right now as well as USB you can do that as well right there various settings let's see what these are device settings print settings prevent paper abrasion now you can access that in the driver auto photo fix setting no you don't want that because it's just going to do like an automatic color correction for you that's okay if you're printing from you know your phone or something like that but do not ever use that here's where you change all of your land settings device user settings date and time this is all your different formats use use remote what is that a oh, remote UI okay and display job history all of these things a lot of these things I don't even go into pick bridge again I don't deal with that at all it depends on your camera language selection of course English in my case firmware update no paper related settings detect paper setting mismatch no advanced paper settings and this is where you pick you know again you don't want to do that print advanced paper settings you want to print that yourself to look at it fine do that reset paper settings for all paper well I think we looked at something uh, earlier power off or power on or go to sleep or any of that stuff no never set it to never okay you will be constantly running cleaning cycles every time you power on the printer big ones not the ones that it runs when you haven't printed for just a few days it'll be a huge cleaning cycle quiet settings I use quiet mode okay and it's not because I don't want to wake up the neighbors it's because it just prints slower and takes a longer pause between passes and that allows the print head to stay cooler they don't tell you that that's the reason but you know you know that's what happens auto maintenance auto nozzle check okay what does that mean folks you probably think it means cleaning cycles that you can actually turn off the cleaning cycles oh for God's sakes do not turn this off enable auto nozzle check you want the printer to constantly check its nozzles not cleaning cycles but check the nozzles because that's the only way it knows how to replace them with a redundant nozzle that is not being used and it will do that on the fly for you always have that to enable okay always system cleaning frequency what it means by that of course is cleaning cycle so if you set it to standard it's going to run a longer a, a more lengthy cleaning cycle set it to short and just keep an eye on your on your quality and your your nozzle checks to make sure that you are always having a hundred percent nozzle check ink maintenance tank installed yeah of course <laughs> alright I think that is it for that category maintenance page size set it to letter or whatever it is that you run in your country administrator password setting no we don't have to set that up you could if you want to alright I think that's no it's not printer information system information blah 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 all kinds of stuff your serial number error history Here's the latest one we had, the 1753. Okay. Head information gives you the information about the print head. Installation date was August 10th, 2017. That's it. That's it, folks. All right. So I, I hope you enjoyed this little tour. Again, there's a lot of stuff in there that you don't really have to mess with. Only the ones that I recommend that you don't touch or set to specific settings. Okay. So until the next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And happy printing, of course, as always. Bye-bye.